In this series, I would like to show my current configurations for key bindings in Visual Studio Code. And before we start to learn more how to configure key bindings in VS Code, please refer to the following page in VS Code Docs. There are a couple of ways to define key bindings, first of which is by using interface. Let's open up interface which allows us to redefine key bindings by running the following command in VS Code command palette. On Mac we can do this by pressing command shift P and on Windows it will be Ctrl shift P. In here we can search for comments and explore which keyboard shortcuts were assigned to those comments. Also, we can run the search by hotkey. To activate this mode we have to press on the following keyboard icon and then if we press keyboard shortcut that we are interested in, we can see all the comments that are currently bound to this key combination. And in here we can easily override, add or remove keyboard shortcuts. But we are going to use different approach to define keyboard shortcuts and that is manually modifying file keybindings.json where all configurations for key bindings are defined. So to open up the file keybindings.json, let's run the following command open keyboard shortcuts json. So in this file I'm going to add all my current configurations for key bindings. Every keyboard shortcut is defined by using the following object with a couple of properties key where we're going to define key combination and the command. This command will be executed when pressing that keyboard shortcut. And the first combination I'm gonna define in here is the combination to open up command palette. And to do so, I like to use command op combination. This is much easier to press for me than the default keyboard shortcut command shift p. And now as we can see when I'm gonna press command op right away I see that the command palette was opened. Let's continue and define the next keyboard shortcut. I'd like to open up panel with extensions by pressing command x. And by the way command x is used by default to cut the text but I actually use another VS Code extension to do all text manipulations called VS Code NeoVim and I'm going to create separate playlist on how to use NeoVim extension in VS Code. And for now I'm gonna specify that by pressing command X I'm supposed to see extension panel. As we can see it works. The next keyboard shortcut will allow me to open up panel with the settings. By default, this panel can also be opened by pressing command comma, but in the future I'm going to redefine this keyboard shortcut to do something else. And in order to open up panel with settings, I'm using alt command comma. So it's working, let's move on and define the next keyboard shortcut. I'm using command plus zero to reset the zoom level of VS Code because sometimes we'd like to make interface of VS Code bigger or smaller and to do this we can use command equal or command minus keyboard shortcuts and whenever we need to reset current zoom level to the default one I'm using combination command zero. So as we can see after pressing command zero my zoom level was reset. Let's increase it again by pressing command equal a few times and review the next keyboard shortcut. This one will be pretty simple. I would like to close all notifications that usually pop up in the bottom right corner of VS Code. And to do so, I would like to press Escape. Those notifications occasionally appear in this area, but this keyboard shortcut only should take effect whenever some notification is opened. So I'm going to add additional condition to specify when exactly this keyboard shortcut should actually take effect. And to specify additional conditions we're using key when and there is a huge list of all kinds of different when conditions that can be used as a value for this key. In this case I need notification toasts visible. The next keyboard shortcut is going to allow me to quickly navigate 
to the particular line by specifying its number. So I'm using command G to open up the panel where I can type in line number and quickly navigate to that line. Let's try it out. For example, in here I would like to quickly jump to the line 9, so I'll press command G, type in the line number, and here we go. Right away we have navigated to that line. Next keyboard shortcut will be used to navigate between all symbols in the currently open file. For example, in here I'm gonna press command R and type the name of the function I would like to navigate to, and after pressing enter, as we can see, we end up exactly on this function name. The next keyboard shortcut will be pretty similar to the previous one, with an exception that this keyboard shortcut will run the search across all project, not only within the currently open file. And now let's try it out. In the current project I have the file constants.js, and let's say I would like to navigate to the constant page timeline while being in the different file. So in here I'm gonna press command shift R and type in the name of the constant page timeline. And after pressing enter, as we can see, we were navigated to that file where this constant is defined. Next I'm going to define series of keyboard shortcuts to navigate between open files by using numbers. So for example, if I would like to navigate to the first open file, I would press Ctrl 1. And the same goes with other numbers. Ctrl 2, Ctrl 3, Ctrl 4. Let's try it out. I'm gonna press Ctrl 4. As we can see, the file was changed. If I would like to get back to the previous file, under number 3, I would press Ctrl 3. And now I'm basically going to assign similar key combinations to navigate between files by using their order starting from 1 and up until 9. It's more for completion sake, because usually I just use numbers from 1 to 5. Let's continue assigning keyboard shortcuts in the next lesson, and the link to the repository with this configuration file will be in the video description.